Hello folks, we got another Club Rave Classic for y'all today with Hate Rights Rice 6. Wow, pronunciation is not my strong suit today. But we're going to go into some OU. It's just going to be me in the chat. He'll be in the physical chat, but I will be in the... I will be talking in the voice comms, of course, because, you know, we, we got to get voice in here. So, Hate Rice 6 said he's testing a team today. Um, wow, that was the fastest timer start i've ever seen um he said he's testing the team so we're also testing the team actually this is a sneak preview of the triple protean special um and yeah i'm using meow cinderace and grin um all in one team so we're gonna start this this doesn't really look like a testing team though this actually looks like a pretty common team i've been seeing uh but anyway we're doing 43 percent to rotom wash which is just insane and I know Claude Zyre Wall's Whirlpool because... Oh, I'm actually unaware. Okay, that's actually not great, but we can, we'll can we just Toxic here. Yes, sir. All right, that's sort of concerning. Um, we do have a Defensive Dragonite, though, which I think could work okay. Uh, also, I have Switcheroo Greninja, which is an interesting tech for today's video, and Hydro Cannon on it as well. So the Greninja set is very interesting. <laughs> uh, we'll go into Dragonite, though, because we know he's going to Shed Tail out. With the citrus berry yes sir of course of course i'm gonna terra up here though because i don't want to lose the icicle spear i see actually dragon ants is up i am fizz def dragonite so i should be able to take it quite well i'm just gonna body press rotom here and i'm tempted to just dragon tail it out actually he does burn me which is concerning um but that's okay we'll deal with it let's just go into corv on mastodon here the great tusculus see knocks me off which is fine get some rocky helmet chip going i'm going to u-turn right now on the orthworm body press actually would have been really good there but that's okay because now inconspicuous bunny the cinderace gets a free pyro ball up which is great i don't he has no switch into the pyro ball really if he goes into roaring moon he risks getting burned and same kind of same with rotom wash actually Back Excalibur might actually be his best switch in right now. High jump kick would also be shicey, but I am a f if if hate rice is good is nice with it, he'll go into gold dango, <laughs> which is concerning. So that's why I'm going with the pyro ball. So oh, he just stays in sacks wormy. All right, you know what? That isn't the worst decision. I'll give him that much. As I am choice banned in conspicuous bunny, so. I always just go Corviknight on Mastodon, though, because it can't really touch Corviknight all too much. Um, I do wonder if it's, like, banded or something, because that's kind of where they just switched it out immediately. He does go for the knockoff, though, so I'm just going to roost up Rotom Wash. Interesting. We're just going to go... Oh, I could go Meow Skirata, actually. I'm going to go Meow Skirata. As he actually makes a double into Goldango, which is perfect for me, because now I can just click knockoff for super free. If he Terra's though, maybe U-turn's a better play, but I don't know if he's going to Terra or not. That would be crazy if he Terra's here. Um, but yeah, I think Knockoff's just the best play in general. I mean, it hits everything on his team, so he can't really switch out into anything. Uh, he gets Terra Steel, though, so this probably won't deal as much as I wish it would. 57% is still quite a bit, though. This is obviously going to kill me, though, uh, but that's okay. So we can go into, oh, we can go into the inconspicuous bunny because now he has no switch-ins for HJK, which is awesome. Um, the only switch-in he has for HJK is a 10% chance of missing. <laughs> so as long as that doesn't happen, we are sitting really pretty. But we'll see what my opponent wants to do. <sighs> Okay, I somehow live though, and I do connect this time. Okay, <laughs> alrighty, that's okay. Inconspicuous bunny, that is a okay. You know what? It happens to the best of us. On our on our worst days, it happens to the best of us. You know, you know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. Mm, you know what I mean. So that's okay. Inconspicuous bunny's gonna live here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and let's see what he wants to bring out on this one. Hey Rice is in a pretty awkward position here. Um, because if he he could go back Scalibur and click Ice Shard, but then I obviously just bring in Corviknight, or hell, I could even bring in Dragonite at this point, because I am teared up. Um 
yeah it's like anything he brings in to threaten this i can just go into dragonite for and anything that doesn't threaten this just instantly dies so except for great tusk great tusk is actually a great switch so i'm gonna go into the corv because corv always switches into this thing um dragonite does not as he goes into rotom wash good double there i'm gonna u-turn see maybe if he wants to double again as he actually hydro pumps that miss doesn't entirely matter to be honest but it still sucks for my opponent so i'm gonna extra sensory here which he doesn't have any switches for except for rotom or roaring moon but he actually is probably just gonna die here yes sir he's because guess why because greninja's got that dog in him no 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 not that dog he's got that frog in him <laughs> he's got that frog <laughs> he is that frog of all the frogs he is one of them that's facts facts so we're gonna see what hey rice wants to do now Let's see what it wants to go for because, I mean, you obviously go Roaring Moon here, I think. I think you would know I'm Choice Specs if I'm not... Oh, he actually goes into back Excalibur. Ooh, that's a tough decision, my friend. Oh, sorry, mate. That's rough. Ah, ah, ha, ha. That's not a great feeling. But either way, Dragon Eye switches in. He is, it does look like he's loaded dice, so I'm going to roost up here. Yeah, I'm gonna loot. I'm gonna roost up. If he's Earthquake, I think I'm still living. So, I think we're good. Yeah, that crit hurts, though. That crit hurts a lot. Because if I didn't crit there, because of the burn on the Dragonite, I don't think I could kill with Body Press. I could be Shice and go for the Dragon Tail play here, though. That would be kind of Shicey, I'm not gonna lie. So, of course, we're gonna go for it and throw the game. <laughs> that is just what we do here. Best case scenario, though, he actually switches into Roaring Moon and gets that boosted energy boost. But I don't think you'd ever go into Roaring Moon because of, um, because of, uh, because I threaten you out with body press anyway. You know what? I'm going to be honest. I kind of deserve that. But I do roost there. So I don't, I, I still come out on top. I don't think this thing has Earthquake. I think we would have already gone for it if it did. <sighs> yeah. That's gold spear is actually doing a lot though holy cow yeah 50 percent is pretty impressive damage body press does kill here though uh, so overall i didn't I, I i pretty much i actually got out of here better than if the dragon tail wouldn't have missed so i'll take it dragon tail better not miss here though i'm gonna be very sad and it does not sweet Shimon. all right all right all right mastodon comes in i'm gonna ooh, i'm gonna just go into court actually as he goes for the Balerion again and i'm gonna body breast body bag bitch bonk 62 percent. not bad not bad you turn here man man that okay that crit didn't matter obviously but here we're gonna show off the greninja tech oh yes yes click that hydro cannon baby oh yeah oh yeah he's got that frog in him boy he got that frog in him sheesh hey ggs man want to run it back three out of five bet same teams question mark see if he wants me to switch he might want me to switch i don't know which I, I think would be fair i don't know this actually worked out really well though i'm surprised this worked out so well um hey rice did warn me he might be um he might be uh he might be texting people in between games and such so if he disconnects that's why so while we're waiting got another i I'd, I'd like to test it. sounds great perfect all right, folks, we'll just get into the next battle here. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and click this challenge button. Challenge him to OU, of course. Uh, this time, let's do... This is another team that I wanted, that I want to test out. Um, it's a Komala team. Uh, where Komala is a bulky um, bulk upset. So, we'll see how this one goes. Yeah. See if Hey Rice said anything else over here. He left. Okay, sounds good. 
So we'll just uh, put it on pause until the battle begins. All right, so Hayrise brought another team with uh, Roaring Moon, Goldango, Great Tusculus, and Rotom Wash, but he brought Garganachi and Glamora here, which is interesting. Um, I, Hayrise, Hayrise must, wa much wa must watch quite a bit of my content to know that my hatred for Goldango and Garganachi supersedes no other. Also, I do hate Rotom as well. So we're gonna start, this team is not the greatest, I'm gonna be honest. This team is not one of my finest creations, but it does feature three featured mods with Garganachi, Grim Reaper, the Grim Sarl, and the new, the newest club, VIP Honkshu Kamala. So, Spin Bout You, that's an interesting name. I kinda, I kinda dig that. Let's just T-wave this thing up. Perfect, as he goes for a mortal spin actually. All right, interesting play. Well, parting shot now. Could I just sweep with Quaquamel right off the rip? I low-key think I can. I low-key think I can. Yep, I think I can, actually. Hold up. No, this is foul. Don't do it, Quaquamel. Don't do it. Don't do not do my boy Hate Rice like this. Please, Hate Rice, switch out here. Don't stay in. Please don't stay in and sack your suicide lead. <gasps> Please. I'm begging. Begging you. <laughs> get it because i'm begging either way though the attack me getting attack boost here is very scary for hey rice especially because i have close combat as pretty neutral coverage whirlpool is that bulky leftover set I'm, i wonder if close combat's doing enough damage we're not going to get whip out the calculator though because we ain't no bitch but i do think it's going to go for a will wisp here so i'm tempted to go into garganachi Fuck it. Let's just see how much close combat does. 50? Oh, hell no. And he does go for the Wisp. Alright, so I'm definitely not doing enough damage to keep sustaining me. So, let's go into Ting Lu on the Volt Switch. Oh, Discharge? Okay, interesting, interesting. Alright, let's spike up here on the Glamour. Perfect, and now we can just Earthquake on Glamour. Um, getting Poison here sucks, but it's, you know, sometimes it'd be like that. Um, let me spike up here again. And that should seal spin about use fate. Assuming it switches out here, which I'm guessing it probably will. Because I don't think it ga gains much by staying in. So, for some reason, I decided to get let Quaquavel get burned. We may never truly know why I let that happen. <laughs> that's a terrible decision as he goes for a mortal spin again dude come on come on my g this is not poggers this is not epic let me earthquake on the oh he spikes okay so <laughs> bait little baby kamala but has got to come in clutch here with that uh rapid spinito but I'm going to get some more spike layers up on my opponent. See what he wants to go for here. Rotom Wash. Or I'll just spike up again on the Hydro Pump. Which I should be able to live at least one more of. Yeah. I lived that pretty comfortably actually. That's actually pretty impressive. So let me spike up again. Um, because I just want to go into Honk Shoe and get this rap Rapido Spinio Offio. And I can't get Poison actually. Which is super sick. Um, thanks to the... Uh, thanks to Comatose, which I actually completely forgot about. And I can't get Will-O-Wisps either. Okay, this is perfect. Get that 1.5 speed boost. All the Hazards are gone now, and now I can just bulk up with Honkshu. Derp. <laughs> yeah. Might be a derp moment, but that's okay. I do have Sucker Punch for Goldango, which I'm assuming he probably won't think I have, which is great. Um, yeah. But I'm guessing you actually goes in a great Tusculus here. So I'm actually going to Ice Spinner and see how much this does. Ooh, 46. Not too bad. So he body presses and kills me. You know, 46% is pretty good damage though. I'm going to go into Quaquavel. I think Aquacept will still kill even though I'm burned because of the... Um... Well, actually, I don't know why it would kill. I We, we may never know. I don't know. I just, I just believe in my guy Quaquavel enough to kill. Comatose is a funny ability. Facts. The thing about Quaquavel that weirds me out is the fact that it has matchsticks for feet. Like that—that that one's a bit weird, but 
I digress. So let's see what he what Hay Rice wants to go for here. As he just lets me Aqua Step. I'm not strong enough to kill it though. As he Rapido Spinios on me, but I'm still faster than him, so I'm just gonna Aqua Step again. Aqua Step into the woman I love. All right, let's go into the Grim Reaper here and get some Reflex and Light Screen set up against my opponent here. Let's see what it wants to go for. I'm guessing... Oh, I'm actually surprised that he goes into Garganachi. I would have thought a... Um, oh, Curse Garganachi? Okay, now that's really interesting. Um, let me go ahead and party shot this B out. Shoot. I actually have no special attacker, so I'm going to go into Garganachi. And I will Iron Defense up here. And then I will Saw Cure it. And I might be able to just win the game from there, I think. I'm actually slightly faster than it, which is great. He crits the Salk here. So he goes through my Reflect and my Double Defense. But that's A-OK. -okay. Um, Gargan actually would probably normally take about 5% from that, if I had to guess. So I can no longer Body Press this thing. Oh! He goes for the Curse Tech, though. Okay. Okay. Alright. That's interesting. Unfortunately, my friend, I have a Dragapulticus on my team. That recover was pretty obvious. Uh, curse goes through sub, believe it or not. So I'm going to Phantom Force out. And then if he tries to curse, um, it would have just hit no one. Dude, that did no damage though. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Let me go into Grim Reaper here hard. Maybe he won't attack. As he recovers here, perfect. And I can get another Reflect up. Okay. As he's going to just Salt Cure me. Fine, I can sub with Dragapult though, and I assume he probably doesn't want to put a curse on me. Um, as he saw cures me, and beautiful, beautiful. The sub is holding up just peachy. So I'm gonna Dragon Dance up here, hope he doesn't go for a curse. As he goes for another Salt Cure, now I'm gonna sub up again. As he does Salt Cure me again. And let me just Dragon Dance again. As he Salt Cures again, now I can sub again. It's just sub again, and sub again, and sub again. And now I'm gonna go for that Dragon phantom force as he recovers this time damn it i thought he was gonna go for a curse for sure yo that's still only doing like 24 percent that is foul my g that is foul see so saw cures there perfect he's probably gonna recover here though um so i basically just have to hope i can get a um i can get a hacks on him um, I should have Dragon Dance there. That was a horrible play for me. Saw Cure's doing 31% shit. So I think I actually lose this one. I think I actually lose. Because I don't know how I'm going to beat this thing. I can just drag Phantom Force again, mate. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's oh, It's over. It's over. If Quaquava wouldn't have gone burned, I think I easily won this game. GG's, friend. Well played. One to one. Unless I got like a, a super crit there or something. A super crit one might have won me the game. As he saw Kier's there, I I think I'm a little faster than him. Yeah, oh yeah, because he cursed up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right, buddy. So I can recover here. And then I'll probably just sack Dragapult. How many recovers does he have left? One? Oh, he only has one recover left? Okay, wait, this isn't over. Yeah, this isn't over by any means then. Okay. I can probably just go drag and sack it then. Yeah, see, Volt Switch is out. That's perfectly fine. I still have my Terra left too, so I could Terra Garganachi. I could. I don't know if that's gonna win me anything though let me just recover here maybe i should sulk here first actually let me just get the salt curious going and now i'm gonna recover and this will be his final recover so i actually dragapult actually did do work with stalling the recovers out which is great so i'm gonna go into quaquavel here and now he'll have to recover up. Yes, sir. And I'm going to roost up here, actually. As he does salt cure my ass. All right. So we're going to go Garganachi now as he goes into Rotom. Well played. I'm going to water up and recover. <sighs> okay. 
That's good to know, though. That's good to know it can't do enough damage. So, I still have five recovers left. I'm going to iron defense here. Ooh, I may have just won the game. I may actually have just won the game. Hold up, hold up, hold up. As long as I don't get crit, I think I win the game from here. Hold up. Hold up. Let me recover here. Sock here up. Recover here. Why do you go for a discharge? That made no sense. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me go into Cool Quavel. Damn it, he got me. He got me. He got me. Because now Garganachi just gets the curse up. God damn it, dude. He got me. Well played. Because, yeah, I can't escape this curse. He saw cures me first. Yeah, well played. Well played. I don't know why he's not going for the um, for the curse here, though. Why did he not curse me? He could have just cursed me for completely free. But that's okay. GG's. Oh, that really freaking sucks. Um, yeah, that really sucks. I actually had a win condition there, and I completely threw it. I, I tried to... He's got walk his dog. Okay, sure. I don't know how long that dog walking is going to take. I'll be in the lobby for our final match. There we go. So, obviously, I should have, um, I should have, uh, I thought he was going to discharge again. If he discharged again, then he would have just died to Salt Cure, and that was what I was thinking. But then that also didn't make sense, because Garganachi could have just cursed me. So, all in all, I just made a really bad play there, to be honest. Um, that, yeah, that sucks, but that's okay. Uh, you win some, you lose some. So I'm gonna pause it and we will be right back. All right, so here's the final tiebreaker against Hate Rice 6. And it seems like he's brought the same team as last time, except a Baxcalibur in place of. Ah, uh, I cannot remember the Pokemon he was using in, in Baxcalibur's place. But um, it should be a fun battle. Good luck, have fun. I just built this team just now. Uh, it has a Brute Bonnet, which is a pretty cool Pokemon, I think. Uh, and we have a Suicide Garchomp lead. Uh, excuse me, lead. We got Goldengo with an Air Balloon, which I wish I would have brought Covert Cloak now. But this means I can switch into Great Tusk, which is pretty cool. Uh, we got Azu with the Huge Power Belly Drum. We got Um, This is an interesting set. I have a Bulk Up a Focus Sash set. And then we got Manny, the Great Tusk. So we're going to start with the Garchomp. Um... Man, I really wish I had a. Uh, I brought Earthquake against this, against Hate Rise Six now. Um, so we're actually gonna postpone um, doing all the hazards and stuff. And he actually makes a really good play here um, and goes ahead and sets up his um, sets up his hazards. But I'm on a balloon here. He's probably gonna knock me off. But I'm just gonna make it rain. And I'm actually faster than it. Yo, that is a salt vest. Holy cow! Wow. That is really impressive. I cannot believe that thing lived. Yo, a max special attack. How did that live? What the heck? Holy cow. Wow. Dude, that was foul. Oh my goodness. All right, we're just going to make it rain. Spin by you is actually faster than me. That's okay though. That's okay. We have the Great Tusculus for a reason, right? We're just going to headlong rush this B, and then we're going to Rapid spinny -o on his dick. We're about to go crazy. About to go crazy. Actually, I kind of want to knock off the Goldango. Shit. Can I knock off Goldango? Goldingus. Goldingus. Oh, I got the switch wrong. Fuck. <laughs> no. All right, all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. So, I'm going to Rapid Spin now. Fuck. All right, I know I'm faster than Gold Dingling, so I'm gonna just knock off. Oh, Manny, no! Shadow Ball, please live. <gasps> I did not live. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to Palmot here, and I'm gonna Revival Manny, so that way I can Rapid Spin. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Which should be a pretty heat play. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This game has not gone anything like I imagined it going, but that's okay. 
Sometimes these things don't go as planned, you know? So I'm just going to double shock C3PO now. Uh, he has no switching suit anymore. Okay, C3PO died. So that's unfortunate for Hate Rice. Um, yeah, that's a shame. <laughs> but it's okay, because we still got Palm. Because, I mean, I think he still has a pretty good chance of uh, bringing this back. He's still got, he's still got, um, he's still got Glamora in the back. He's got back Scalibur, but back Scalibur just dies to CC. Um, and then we got Rotom Wash with CC as coverage as well. And then we got Garganachi, which we can CC as well. So my opponent probably doesn't know this, but I can actually tear it here in double shock. Well, actually, you know what? If Hayes Rice has seen my videos, he'll know I'm going for this tear here. But we're going to tear it anyway and go for it. This should knock it out. Close combat probably would have done enough, but I didn't want to really risk it. It wasn't really worth it, especially because Palmont just is looking to win the game at this point. Which is fantastic! Alright. Um, now, a lot of folks might be thinking that Backscalibur lives a close combat. Which is, in fact, facts. But, Brubonnet? Brubonnet? That bitch is going to sucker punch him to shit. So we're we're being chilling. He he terror the ghost again. Yo, double shock actually did like no damage. That's actually really impressive how little that took. Alright. I can actually not rabbit spin with Manny. Um, let me go. Hmm. What do I want to do against this thing? I kinda wanna go Garchomp here and set up a lot of hazards, actually. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it like your mom. Sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry. I apologize. To absolutely fucking nobody. <laughs> uh, let's see. Stealth cocks up. He's going to put a curse on me. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Hell no. How could you leave a curse on my poor little guard champion? Let me just dragon tail this bitch out. Hell yeah. Let me spike up on this bitch. Hell yeah. He's gonna hydro pump on me. Hell no. Oh, hell no. Sorry. That was unnecessary. But I'm gonna rapid spin now. Rapido Spinio. On his dickio. Sheesh. That was a crazy line. Rapido Spinio on his dickio. Because here's the thing, if he goes into Garganachi, which he probably will, it's fine. Because we'll just knock off. <gasps> oh, that's a major L. Oh, I hate rice. No. No. Oh, sh Oh, I live the ice shard, though. Oh, I think that might be over. Because uh, Azumarill might just be able to... Pl mm. Whirlpool has a lot of HP left. That goddamn Whirlpool. Here. L I need to tell my boy one sec. All right, all right, all right. I told my boy, I told my boy one second. You know, you know the vibes. You know the vibes. All right, I'm going to go into Azu here as he salt cures me up. Well played. I'm going to go into Palmani in here. And I'm going to click the double shock. Because I don't know what he's going to go for here. He could just click go salt cure again. And you know what? That'd be okay. I think I would live. I think I, I think, I think my heart would go on. But, you know, we got to make these plays sometimes. Every once in a while, a man's got to make these plays. Oh, shoot. I was normal poison, not toxic poison. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is a bad look for the brand, boys. Oh, no. Whirlpool's probably going to burn my ass. So, I'm going to spore him. Yup. Um, let me just go to Azu right now. Shit, I think I lost, dude. I think I lost. No, I lost. I lost. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. Yo, if I get another crit, if I get another crit. No. Uh-oh. I'm running low on disk space, apparently. Again. Which I, I just I just cleaned everything out. All right, let me belly drum here. Maybe I can survive the salt here. Maybe. Probably not. No. Hey, GG's, man. GG's. 
So that's going to be the conclusion of me and Hate Rice's battles. He, he beat me. Yep. I kind of threw the game to TBH. Um, I made some really poor plays on my end. Um, some plays that I probably shouldn't have made. But that's okay. Yeah, I'm just going to forfeit slash FF. Nope, slash forfeit. So thank you, Hate Rice, for the games. Uh, I got a bounce, though. Uh, so I'm going to keep this outro short. Um, he played well. He kind of played with the similar team, uh, but he really refined it. Um, you guys will see these three teams on the channel in the coming weeks because I'll probably be playing with them in lives. Um, and But yeah, thank you. Thanks for the games, man. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it a day. This is going to be the recording. I need to figure out what's going on with my Discord, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out. Also, join the Discord because I want to battle y'all. Okay, peace.